Hi everyone, welcome to the Wampanoag home site. This is Tim Turner again, the manager of the Wampanoag home site. And I'm here with James, and James is from the Aquina Band Wampanoag that's out in Martha Vineyard Island. And it's appropriate that he's making uh, what right now? I'm building a machine, or what you would call a boat. And the way you uh, make the boat is? We burn these out using fire. Fire is your main tool in this process. Um, back then you would have found a log that was long, straight, no branches next to the water. And you would have fell it using fire. And where it lies, where you make the boat, you know, burn it to length the same way you would fell it. And then you would have started the fire right on top of the entire log. And as it burns, you scrape it away, splash water where you don't want it to burn, pack clay and mud where you don't want it to burn, no matter of filling the size in the bottom. A vessel this size can be finished anywhere from four and a half to five days. And uh, would you be working on that 24 hours a day to do it that way? Yes, around the clock. And the type of wood that you're using? Uh, this one here is white pine, but time period you would have seen a lot of hardwoods like elm and chestnut being used. But and nowadays we use whatever's available. And uh, how many of these boats have you personally made? Uh, well, we make two a season. So this is probably like my, my, like my fifth boat okay. I've been here. Fifth boat. But I've also constructed one over on the vineyard. Okay. And you've worked for Plymouth Plantation now how long? This is my third season. Third season? So this is our machoon. Um, this is the one we started in the spring and are trying to finish up here in October. Is there a reason why you guys we do this by the river? Because uh, back then there was no way to transport your log as soon as you got it. You know, it was the only requirement to find the log that was long, straight, no branches, next to the water. Back then, once it went in, it never came out. Um, even for the winter time, we would have filled it with large boulders and sank it in the water below the ice. So there's no oxygen down there, so it, dr so it won't dry out and it won't crack. It preserves it. And uh, this size boat, how many people can fit in this one? About three people. About three people. But time period, you would have seen vessels that would have accommodated well over 40. Vessels easily ranging over 60 feet long. 60 feet long. I'm just going to get a picture of you uh, scrape it inside of there. Can you maybe uh, show the tool here, James? Tell me a little bit about it. This is an ad. Yeah, this is an ad that we would use for the scraping on the inside. Um, Fastened together, stone, hardwood, and this is um, this is sinew, animal tendon. Anything else you would have used on a boat like this for scraping? Uh, yeah, on the finish you actually could have used uh, shells like that in the back for on the finish for it getting between all the cracks. The clam shells that are down the end of the boat there. Yes. Thanks, James.